Hi, my name is Steve Sackerman, and I'm going to be talking a, a little bit about a um, project that I've done using Open Embedded to build a um, GNOME image. And um, this, has been, this isn't uh, anything that I've done for a client. This has just been something that I did for the challenge of it, I think, more than anything. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this first slide because there's actually a lot of stuff going on here that you might find interesting. Um, first thing is um, I did these slides really late, <laughs> so you can see they were done early in the wee hours, and it was 82 degrees. It's still hot here in California in the far north. Um, secondly, um, if you look at some of the icons on the screen, like the one gigabyte media and the, the wired network drop down, you'll also um, be able to tell that I have a zippy board on this um, on my Beagle. So I have a wired network, and I have an SD card, a one gigabyte SD card, in the second SD slot. You'll also see the, uh, the fat partition and the 1.9 gigabyte um, partition for ext3 that has my root FS. So um, that will tell you that this will run on a, uh, a 2 gigabyte SD card. Um, then if we look a little bit more, you'll be able to see that there's a bunch of stuff on the USB ports. I've got a keyboard and a mouse, obviously, on the MUSB port, but I also have a DVD USB drive, as you'll note by looking at the Forrest Gump DVD icon on the desktop. Um, I also have a Lexar uh, thumb drive on the EHCI port. Um, look in the upper right of the corner, you'll see a Bluetooth icon. So I also have a, a Bluetooth dongle. Um, and lastly, again, in the network drop-down, you'll see a bunch of wireless networks. So there's also a uh, wireless network dongle. And I believe that one's on EHCI also. So this is a fairly loaded system. Lots of stuff going on there. Um, and amazingly, all of it working. Um, didn't have to do any network setup at all when I booted um, the, uh, the pop-up. Just showed all these networks available, and I selected the, uh, the Zippy wired Ethernet in this case. But we can move to the next slide. Um, currently on, on my website, sacrament.com, you can pick up the, the R9 data. And there's a kernel and U-boot there for, for both Beagle and Overa. Um, the kernel is a 2.6.30 implementation. Um, it has the standard um, system preferences and administration tools. Um, as far as I know, those are all working. Um, I've also included a bunch of apps, uh, Epiphany Web Browser, Claws for email, Pigeon for chat. Um, for word processing, there's ABI Word. And for those who like gedit, that is also included. And all the um, text coloring stuff works. So it uh, does the right thing for Perl scripts and C and C++ code if you actually want to do some native development. Um, numeric for spreadsheet. Um, GIMP is included for playing with uh, graphics. And you can do photo import from your B using GPhoto 2 and GSUM. And there's a PDF viewing application also, um, events. Two media players are in the image. Uh, the one that seems to work best at the moment is uh, GNOME M Player. And um, you can play DVDs if you have an external USB drive. The performance is actually not too bad. It does drop some frames. Um, but it's quite watchable and uh, can even be run in full screen mode. So not better than I expected, I'll say. Um, I also included Totem, um, which is the standard GNOME um, media player. Performance there is not so good. So I think we need to, to uh, put some effort into DSP work in the future. Um, Webcam support also, if you have UBC and a few other select um, 
webcams. Um, the easiest way to play with that is, is using either Cheese, uh, which is included in the image, um, or uh, GNOME mPlayer. All the standard games are there, uh, so you can waste lots of hours playing chess and solitaire. Um, generic little applets. Um, current image has English, French, German, Spanish. And if you want to do package, you know, download packages, right now you are kind of stuck using the command line O package. Uh, we can move to the next slide. Um, I see a question coming up on um, IRC asking about is everything on ARM right now as far as media support, and that is the case. Um, no DSP in this image right now. The, the next image I'm working on right now um, and calling R10 2.6.31 kernel. That's a, a single kernel that will work with both Overo and BeagleBoard. Um, I'm bumping versions where available on the um, GNOME stuff up to 2.27.91. Um, they're planning to do a final 2.28 release sort of end of September, early October. Um, but we're in kind of the final phases there, and things are changing pretty much on a daily basis. But most of the packages will be were available to 27.91. Um, hope to have the SGX, uh, SGX driver and demos into this image, as well as the Zippy support that you saw on that first screen. And I expect this to be available in the next week or two. And then following that, once, once the 2.28 release is available in early October, I'll refresh things. And with luck, hopefully we'll have the Japanese support um, and a GUI for package management. Both of those are big questions. Um, but with some help, probably can get that done. Um, we have just two minutes before the next presenter. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll work real fast. The, um, the, the image, as I mentioned, we can go to the next slide, is built with open embedded. Um, lots of changes required there, and I'm slowly pushing them upstream. The goal, my goal is to have everything upstream by alpha time. And last slide. If you want to help, download it, try it, send bug reports. And if you really want to roll up your sleeves, there's, there's some stuff that you can do um, if you're an OE guru. Um, package kit back end for O package. Um, I think we also need to, to make some modifications to O package to run update desktop files utility after installs of packages with desktop files. Um, we need better printing support or uh, driver support, so boot and print. And for Japanese, um, we need to fix and add recipes for UIM and SCIM. So there you go. That is uh, sort of the output part of my presentation. And if anyone has questions, ask now. I'm looking at the RC channel for a question, um, okay. or the phone, if you want to speak up. Yeah, when do you do KCP? How, how, uh, how tightly coupled is your stuff with the Zippy board? Um, it is not tightly coupled at all. It, it works with or without. And what GUI are you using for package management today? There is none. It is uh, currently command line only. Um, we're hoping to use um, package kit and GNOME package kit for the GUI. All right. So, um, oh, so there's also a question about the combined uh, Beagle Overo kernel. Might let that one slip in. Yeah, this is um, something that's supported in Linux OMAP, and I guess conceptually, what you need to do is do a union of the desk configs for all the machines that you want to support. So rather than just having a, a single machine defined, um, you know, in my case, I have both BeagleBoard and Overo defined. Um, similarly, for um, the ALSA driver, you enable the, the ALSA machine driver for both machines. And then you sort of have to reconcile um, all you have a uh, 
a good set of desk config that works on both sides. And that's actually working quite well. Okay, thanks. So 